this far. I am your science master. So today we're going to learn about carbon cycle. But before we pro or before we proceed, let's go for commercials on the COVID-19. Today we are going to learn about carbon cycle. And after our lesson, we should be able to describe how carbon cycled in nature. And secondly, outline some of the importance of carbon. So before we prove or we don't, or we dive into carbon cycle, we want to know about what carbon is. What is carbon? We know carbon is a very important element. And carbon is the backbone of our life on Earth. Why am I saying so? This is because carbon forms the basis of all organic molecules or matter. Since the earth is dynamic, carbon does not live at a particular place. It still moves. It moves. So we can find or carbon can be found in the human body, plants, animals such as fish, insects, birds, herbivores, etc. Carbon can also be found in carbohydrates, proteins, and fat and oil, which are essential of life. It can also be found in the fossil fuels, such as petroleum products, natural gas, and so on and so forth. I hope you are with me. This is an introduction of carbon. So let us take the carbon cycle and describe how it is, or what is it about. When we say carbon cycle, since carbon has become the backbone of our life on Earth. And also, carbon can be found everywhere. We are saying that the carbon cycle shows how carbon segregates or moves in a circle between living organisms and dead organisms and the atmosphere. The carbon cycle plays an important role in maintaining proper level of carbon in the Earth's atmosphere. Let us trace the path of carbon as it constantly moves through various parts of the carbon cycle. We are finding how carbon traces each part. We are saying that the carbon cycle has two main parts. The first pathway or pathway one describes how carbon is removed from the atmosphere. And the second pathway has to do with the release of carbon into the atmosphere. That is returning of carbon into the atmosphere. 
So it means that we are having two main types of carbon path through which carbon cycle what? moves in a circle or circuit. When I said the first part way is how carbon is removed from the atmosphere and the second one has to do with how the carbon is being released into the atmosphere. So let's look at it. We are taking it one after the other. So we are looking at the first pathway, which is how carbon is being removed from the atmosphere. So one, carbon can be removed from the atmosphere by this way. One, plants remove carbon from the atmosphere using carbon four oxide or carbon dioxide in the process of photosynthesis to manufacture carbon compounds which is food. This means that whenever green plants produce their food, that process takes away carbon from the atmosphere. I hope you understand me. And then the second is also that when the green plant or the food that has been manufactured by the green plant, when animals begin to eat the plant, the carbon which is inside the green plant is being transferred into the animal. I hope you are with me. Thank you. Let's go to the second part. That is the how carbon is being released into the atmosphere. Carbon is returned into the atmosphere in three main ways. With the second part, we have three main methods by which carb carbon can be released or can be returned into the atmosphere. One way is that plants and animals release carbon into the atmosphere by the process of respiration. So whenever animals and plants breathe in and out, they release carbon into the atmosphere. This is because carbon for oxide or carbon dioxide is given out into the atmosphere. So whenever Plants and animals release carbon into the atmosphere by the process of respiration. Carbon is being released into the atmosphere. So, the second way is that whenever animals and plants die, they decompose to release carbon into the atmosphere. I hope you agree. I repeat myself. With the second way or with the second method, we are saying that when plants and animals die, when they are dead and they begin or when they are beginning to rot, so their decay releases carbon. Since carbon is being found in plants and animals, after they, they have died or after they are dead, they release it the carbon which is in them into the atmosphere. So this is another way by which carbon is being released into the atmosphere. And then the third way or the last way or the method by which carbon is also retained or released into the atmosphere is when carbon compounds in fossil fuels. When I talk about fossil fuels, I'm talking about the coals the petroleum product and the natural gas when they are being burnt they also release carbon into the atmosphere so these are the two ways through which carbon is being removed from the atmosphere and also the same carbon is being retained 
or release into the atmosphere. Very good. I hope you have understood me. So having said this, let us look at some of the importance of the carbon cycle. One importance of the carbon cycle is that the carbon cycle helps plants to manufacture their food. Secondly, due to the presence of the carbon in respiration, whenever we respire, we bring in or carbon is being released into the atmosphere. So on these notes, we end our lesson for today. But before I say bye bye to you, let me summarize whatever we have learned so far. In today's lesson, we said that we look at the term carbon cycle. And we said carbon cycle refers to how carbon secretes. That is, when we talk about secretion, we are talking about how carbon moved in circle between living and dead organism and the atmosphere. And we said with the carbon cycle, it has two main parts. The first part we is that the plant removes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to produce food. The second part we retains carbon into the atmosphere through the process of respiration, decay of dead plants and animals, and burning of fossil fuel. So on this note, and end today's lesson. And before I say bye bye to you, let's get this question tried. So you can see on the screen, answer the following questions. One, what is carbon cycle? Two, briefly describe how carbon is removed from the atmosphere. And three, state three ways by which carbon is retained into the atmosphere. Thank you.